Dana Dornsife from the Lazarus Cancer Foundation. Dana, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring Dana on here is you talked about some of the health benefits here. I know you guys have been involved with Lazarus and everything like that, and, and we're involved with Lazarus too, and we love Lazarus, but tell me, and let's have a little discussion here about what this food can do to someone that's trying to be as healthy as possible, maybe help you with prevention, or if you did have some kind of disease, how does this, how does this kind of feeding affect that? John, um, you know, your diet has a lot to do with your propensity to um, have cancer. Yeah. So um, eating healthy is a great beginning. Um, if you don't have cancer yet, one of the ways that you can prevent getting cancer is by sticking with organic fruits and vegetables, whole grains, uh, natural, uh, like fresh, um, wild caught uh, fish. Um, so you are big in the organic. That's a big deal then. It, it is okay. a big deal. Okay. Um, anything processed that you put in your body just you know, increases your, your exposure mm -hmm. to um, you know, manufactured products. Well, that's all these studies and doctors have been saying everything like that. I mean, I mean, human beings have been here for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly even millions of years. I can't exactly remember, but a long time. Okay. <laughs> Right. And it's only what last hundred years, you know, fifty, hundred years, whatever, Not that even. we threw all these chemicals. Let's in. say fifty years. Wow. Even you know, I mean, my my family grew up in the fifties, yeah. and I remember, you know, one, two, three desserts, you know, with the layers and the the Betty Crocker. Right. We had the Betty Crocker cookbook. You know, <laughs> I had a little easy thing coming too. <laughs> and, and seriously, we never ate a vegetable that didn't come out of a can. Right. And you know, yes. and we kind of got into this whole mode of um, processed is better. Oh, you right. Know, and, and, and it was kind of, a, I think, just a sign of the times. That's where the development was going. That's where marketing was going. That's what people were, were teaching us. Right. You know? And now we realize that organic, natural foods really are important. The nutritional value is better. It's healthier for you. And you know, cancer um, survives on sugar. Huh. Cancer survives on you know when so you. So I said anything white. Right. When you have processed or uh, uh, um, wheats and rice and things like that, I mean, cancer is, has a voracious appetite, and the last thing that you want to do as a person with cancer is feed. Feed it. Feed it. Yeah. So what you want to do is stick with whole grains and natural foods to try and keep your, your glucose levels down. So if people eat like this and they do the green teas and they're doing the cranberries and the pomegranates and all the other antioxidants and, and cancer fighters and turmeric and whatever, how big of a difference do you think that can make for someone? You know, I, I honestly can't give you percentages. Right. I, I can't tell you percentage-wise what kind of difference right. And you can make. eat like this every right. day and still but get I, cancer and heart exactly. disease Exactly. But I can tell you this, okay? It's definitely better for you. You know, if you have lower body mass, lower body weight, you lessen your chances of, of getting cancer. If you, you lessen your chances of having diabetes, you lessen your chances of having hypertension, obesity. Um, right, you know, you're Joint across pain, the board, all that kind of stuff. Less across, in your system. Across the board, you know. Wow. So it's really important that we honor you know, our bodies and we and and what goes into it then. Well, so tell me about Lazarus Cancer Foundation for the folks that, that might have never heard of your of your uh, program before, your, your foundation before. What is Lazarus? What do you guys do? Lazarus Cancer Foundation is very unique as a cancer foundation because we focus on the patient okay. directly. So we focus on end-stage cancer patients who've been told there's nothing more that we can do for you, wow. and you have to get your affairs in order. And at that moment in time, you know, for the first time, a patient is faced with not having a plan. They don't know what to do, you know, to, for their own survival. Right. For months, they've been going to chemotherapy, going to radiation, visiting their doctor's office, and now all, all of a the sudden, traditional stuff. they walk out of their doctor's office and say, wow, wow. what do I do now? Yeah. And that's where Lazarex comes in. We take those patients by the hand and we help them navigate through their clinical trial options 
and we provide financial assistance to them if they need it to participate in those clinical trials. Yes. If you are an end-stage cancer patient and your doctor stamps an expiration date on your forehead and says you've got three months to live, you know, um, you've lost all hope. <laughs> and we come in and we restore that hope and we help end-stage cancer patients take advantage of medical breakthroughs in today's technology. That's fantastic. You know, research Something is, might not be here for the widespread public for three, five, ten years. Exactly. Who knows when? Right. So you it's know, almost like a second chance. It, it's absolutely evidence yeah. of our name, right? I want some rest, okay? too. Yeah. So, you know, the point is every drug that we consume, every drug that's prescribed by our doctors has been in a clinical trial. Yeah. Okay? Our patients are able to take advantage of breakthroughs in technology through clinical trials and that is absolutely what we're we are about there is a gross lack of uh, resources and support for end-stage cancer patients other than hospice and i can tell you that just because you're told your time is up doesn't mean you're ready to go. I hear that, and this is important. And it's also important because it helps the, 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 the hospitals and the R&D companies and everything like that because they need people that they, they can They do. They can they try need, stuff And out. they need healthy people. Right. You know, if you have cancer, obviously you have cancer, right. okay? And, but there, you know, depending on where you are in your disease, you want to keep yourself as, as healthy as possible That's throughout this your kind disease. Of eating comes yeah. in. That's why this yeah. is so important. So that you're in a position to take advantage of those breakthroughs if you need to. Hopefully you won't, but if you do, you know, we're... And that's part of the whole thing with, with the food rater that, that you started this up for, right? Right. Okay. Exactly. Is, you know, to, to get people back to basics, let's get people as healthy as possible again. Again, hey, at, at the end of the day, I mean, as sad as it is, we're all going to die. And, and, and there's no guarantee if you eat this right, you go to a clinical trial that you're going to be, you know, cured, fixed, live longer, anything like that. But you know what? This puts you in the best position. It helps it out. This is what everyone's been saying. The doctors and, and the president and Michelle Obama on down. Yes. It's hedging a bet. You're hedging a bet and you are putting yourself in a position to take advantage of whatever opportunities are out there to take advantage it's of. It's kind of like, do you want to shoot from half court or the free throw line? Right. I, I just want to interject one thing here. If you can see the statistics now okay. of how obesity and diabetes has gone 30% in our kids, wow. in our society, because of the 21st century, because of fast foods, because of processed foods, and what exactly what Dana says, and the, the rise on cancer of, across the board of all kinds what? of cancers because it does 33 percent of our population will have cancer yeah and it does feed on the white sugars That's and the intense. sugars so, so that that means one of the three of us in our lifetimes wait i've cancer. already gone through it so and again you know we fixed this year we tied in a fantastic job in less than 30 minutes and this is all stuff you can pick up at the grocery store it's Easy. all stuff you can pick up at the grocery store and it's stuff that you should start feeding your children yes from you know a very uh young age young age because they're developing their palates and this is what real food tastes like and yeah. that's what they need to to be exposed well i think it's great how can people get involved and find out more about lazarus um, they can go to our website, it's www.lazarex.org, and it's L-A-Z-A-R-E-X.org, um, and give us a call. You know, our, all of our phone numbers, contact information is on there, we've got videos on there, patient stories. That's cool. Um, you know, we, we have, I just updated our statistics, we have five end-stage cancer patients right now who were told there was nothing more that can be done, that they're that they were done with wow. life and they are now in remission. Wow. So okay. that, wow. That is that's, huge. That's the power of that's clinical huge. trials. Yes. And and for all, anyone who has cancer out there and you're considering a clinical trial, never underestimate the power of a clinical trial. There was no doubt about it. That's why it's cutting edge and that's why we're working on it. Food Raider. Uh, this looks amazing. You're going to have this up on the website, the, 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 the whole uh, recipe and everything? Yeah, we're going to get that up there. Also, we are... Foodorator is opening a division of Hope's products. We want to create Hope's Kitchen. Hope's Kitchen products. Well, yes, absolutely. Right. But we're going to be coming up with some 
rubs and sauces and oils and uh, product lines that that's a way that you can get involved. You're going to buy this stuff anyways in your local stores and every time you buy a bottle, a portion of that money goes to a clinical Oh, that's huge. That's a great, that's a great cause. That's a great idea. And what we'll be, each week we're going to do these little segments. We'll have Dana on. We'll have other guest speakers on and bring you a wealth of information and also that um, Ty will uh, every will end up taking these recipes and put a book together and then those proceeds will go to Lazarus. I think this is great. This is something that everybody can get involved in. We all need to eat and you want to eat, you want it to taste great and look at this and you want to be healthy and you, you know, this is, this is the whole nine yards right here, right? This is being as healthy as you can be, it's feeding your family right and doing it at a nice budget. I love this. Hey, for Lazarus Cancer Foundation, for Fooderator in Hope's Kitchen. One last thing. Yes, Karen. I have to do my call to action. Please. So we're close to Thanksgiving. No. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Right. For all you corporations, for all of you small businesses, for wanting to give a Christmas gift, Ty will come to your house. We will have some special packages, a $500, $1,000 package, so we can donate back to Lazarus, and we will come in. We will train you to cook. We will come in and do a dinner party. You give us a call. We'll create it, and a portion of the it is a tax donation, right, Dan? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell, tell a little bit about how right. that works. Okay, so um, whatever, uh, so um, for these packages, whatever portion of the package is above and beyond the retail value of the food, you'll get a, a tax deduction. Wow. So you saw that okay. this dinner was $25. Yeah. And if we put a, 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 a package together, so like $500. Right. $475 so, is tax deductible. Absolutely. Yes. Got you. And you've got a nice dinner party, and it's tax deductible, and you gave a gift, and you got someone. How soon will those be up? I mean, we've got to, and, 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 and can we'll someone from New York order this, or how does that work? Sure, fly us in. Okay, well, <laughs> so we'll work it. We'll work it. We'll work it out. We'll get those up. Be sure to check back with us. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Again, Dana, thank you so much. Thank you. Lazarus Cancer Foundation, thank you. Karen, Fooderator, and Hope's Kitchen. And hey, Ty. and Ty. Thanks, Ty. That's right, our professional chef. Hey, I'm John D. Valerio from Conservative New Media, and you've been watching Conservative New Media, and you've been watching the Cooking Show here. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.